Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's got here. We're up at uh, Coastal Cottage because I wanted to play around with the uh, airplane crash pieces that were unlocked. And originally, I'd kind of thought about doing it like at Spectacle Island, you know, and, and build some big crash site type thing. But uh, then I got to thinking about it and came up with something a little different. Uh, now, if you know the Coastal Cottage, settlement you've got this broken down house and it's it's very very difficult to fix so I've kind of worked around to not have to worry about fixing the house and was able to place the plane fuselage right in there like that's what destroyed the house and I was able to fit another piece of the plane up there into that little section here so then I built off of that and then if you know there's a there's a little cave underneath there and I've kind of filled that all in with rocks you know pillar glitched in a bunch of rocks and things uh, so you know there wasn't a whole lot unless you get the mod that expands that uh, that little pit down there there's not a lot you can do with it it's not very big uh, so I just kind of bypassed it and went this way you know and you still got the pieces broken pieces of the house but then it just looks like the plane is what has destroyed the house you know maybe parts of it broke off way out there and this is the parts that landed here on this poor house so then the underneath part you know you see I've added uh, some little walkways some plywood uh, you know because I figured this settlement even with this uh, you know they're gonna try to make do with what they got up here and that you know it's not like a sanctuary or a castle where they have you know access to a lot more resources and things uh, so the underneath part uh, you know there's the bottom level of the fuselage and then the upper level I turned this bottom level into the workshop area and I've added some uh, you know wood pallets and uh, lots of the plywood that's been unlocked uh, to give it a little bit more of a floor in here but still keep the you know this is kind of a ramshackled all together you know makeshift area and then I've added you know all of the workbenches and things along the way here you know and I've added some clutter and some you know crates and things like that around for decoration I kinda wanted to keep it really you know not do a whole lot of on the decoration in this place uh, you know kinda keep it real sparse or you know kind of a, a real poor type build on this one you know so you got your workbenches and things like that and these little half walls I kind of placed up in here like they're you know they attach them to the ceilings and, and things like that then just added a few decorations around if my memory makes correct, super then we'll come super out and correct. head up top to the living area I added some stairs I pillar glitched those stairs in right to the edge and then uh, used just a little piece of scaffolding off of that to make the this little landing right here uh, and then I use the you know they they've unlocked these little bridge pieces and I added a few of them out uh, on the top to make kind of a a proper little porch area you know little makeshift porch form off of this plane fuselage now I don't have this settlement completely done but I wanted to show you guys mainly the uh, the plain piece here uh, took a look, couple of the half walls and placed them right here to make a little makeshift doorway 
uh, and I thought they fit real nice. I didn't have to pillar glitch those in. Those were able to just, I was able to just place them right there at the end of these little wood pieces. And then one thing about this, as you can tell, looking down the, the fuselage, the floor is kind of, kind of slanted down and leaning, you know, going downwards toward the, as you're looking in there, toward the, uh, the left. Uh, so it kind of makes really building anything in there a little bit weird looks like things are kind of floating So I wanted that's why I kind of wanted to keep it real uh, Sparse and not not put a whole lot of things in here. Uh, I did add some plywood and some uh, Pallets, you know, like they're making up for the slanted floor To add some beds in here, you know, and you don't have a whole lot of room in here anyway It's kind of like building in one of those little uh, trailers uh, but I gave them the basic necessities you know which is I think what would what fits in really best with this settlement you know bare necessities up here uh, you know gave them a little eating area down here I love the way these beds came out on these pallets I really thought that was pretty cool looking And we'll get to up those stairs in just a minute. But back here, I've added a, you know, was able to place a couple of small beds in these little rooms. Uh, I might play around with a little more. You can see there the bed does, doesn't does quite look quite right. But, uh, you know, the lockers look good and, uh, you know, just little rooms out of those. And then gave them a kitchen area, gave them a stove, you know, like that was there when the plane was you know actually working or whatever and uh you know not a whole lot of tables in here uh gave them did give them shelves and then all along each side i was able to place walls and i didn't have to pillar glitch those in those just fit uh where they are and then i just you know snapped on as i went down to kind of help block in some of the holes and then the the these roof pieces these are the metal roof pieces you see here here's the bot you know this piece of flooring here you got a little like cubby hole area right there and i was able to place one of the roof pieces right there and then i just snapped built you know built off of it down to the end and it actually looks like it's part of just the fuselage frame i mean it actually looks like it's part of the plane itself but it helps cover up a lot of these gaps that are in the in the uh, roof of this plane then we'll head up the stairs to where the cockpit used to be and I was able to fit in a couple of beds up here again keeping it kind of bare bones up here I think that's what fits in the best and I was able to put a turret right on the nose of the plane. My are to but it's pretty cool to use these plane, uh, you know, it's to find a use for the plane pieces. It's it's uh, kind of hard to come up with a good spot for it. You know, you either need a huge area uh, like Spectacle Island or something like that, where you can make a a big huge uh, plane crash site you know but I, I I thought this really worked you know I thought it was a really cool idea to use this plane as a reason why the house is destroyed you know because there's there's really not much you can do with that house to begin with you know even pillar glitching and rug glitching and things like that unless you download a mod that has rebuilt this house or whatever you know, there's just not a whole lot you can do with it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything up there in that piece or not. Uh, because, you know, building a walkway up there, I guess I could build a set of stairs from here uh, over to there. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I like this bare bones type stuff right here. So I think I just might leave that as it is and with nothing in it. Just as that's where that piece of the plane fell and stayed there and you know the settlers that came here they kind of salvaged part of the 
the plane's engines to make generators out of. And I've got them on either side of this little, you know, makeshift hut for some of my settlers here. And, uh, you know, this is a kind of a different level terrain, you know, it's kind of on a hill. Uh, but part of what's been unlocked are these little medium-sized cliffs. So I was able to pillar glitch that in just underneath this end of the house to make it look like that's exactly how it was built. That was built that, like that. And I haven't really done much with the inside of this house yet. Just kind of placed the beds and the floors. I haven't decorated the walls or anything yet in there. Uh, mainly what I've been focusing on is, is the, the plane pieces. Uh, this here is another piece of the plane. Uh, I just thought it looked good being on the ground right here. They walk over it and things like that. And I might find other uses for some of the different other plane pieces, like, you know, this was a, like, part of the, the plane covering, or the engine, you know, and things like that. I sunk it into the ground here next to the, to the uh, old garage, and I'm going to be moving the, uh, the general store. I'm going to put that into this part of the house. See, I've laid down some wood pallets, and I'm going to move my general trader in here. But I really, really like how that plane fuselage came out. It did take me a while to get it to be able to turn green where I got it to turn green. So don't lose your patience with it. You know, if you keep with it and keep on it, you know, you should be able to find a good spot with it. I mean, it took me a while to find a spot for it to turn green initially to where I could pillar glitch it over here. And you see there, you know, the the wood on top that I've added to the parts that are hanging off of the plane there. I added one in support over here because on this side you got this big part of the frame sticking out that could hold up this end of it. But on this side, there was a little bit of the frame, but it was kind of bowed down a little bit, so I added one little support on that side. All systems are go, sir. So I hope you all like this. If you did, please leave a, leave a like. And if you got any questions about anything, leave a comment. Always happy to read comments or answer questions or anything. And I hope this guy gives you gives you a few more ideas for what to do with these plain pieces in a in a settlement. You know, I just thought it was a really cool idea to use it as to that's what destroyed the house. And there'll be, you know, don't forget to subscribe. There's a lot more videos coming out different things I can come up with like this you know and when, as soon as I finish this settlement I'll do a settlement tour of this then I'll put a list of the mod uh, the mods and the mod authors in the description of the video uh, you know of course I'm using the unlock settlement objects mod uh, OC decorator uh, I use that a lot for this so as always guys Thanks for watching. Have a good one.